Whatever. Hi, Playmates! How are you? I'm in a bit of a dilemma here, a bit of a pickle, because uh, the blue fake core banner choice is up. As you know, FC item was my first blue fake core, so naturally, I don't have any of these four. And I'm really stuck between Summer Yao and Raquel. Like, I, I don't really have any Estrus Republic units to use Yao. Lenombre, on the other hand, would give Raquel. I do. And I don't have his other fake core either, but Yao looks so much better with the shorter hair, whereas Monica looks better with the longer hair. But, uh, so the choice choices are there. Do I go for the cutie or do I go for the utility? <sighs> utility it is then. Utility it is. So, I, I, okay. Let's go to pull for Raquel. I think Raquel also looks better with the shorter hair. I don't really know what's up with the longer hair here, but I think, I think he should look pretty cool in like a really red suit there. So I'm probably gonna dye him once I get him. Hopefully I don't really pity him because again, that new um, banner uh, theme, the fake core theme of grown-ups are gonna... Wow, that was a bad pull. Oh my goodness. So and anyway, like I was saying that new banner is coming up and as you can see my zest, I don't even have enough to pity Raquel at this moment. So I'm gonna hope and pray that I get him before I am halfway through. So 28 is the max, so 14. Let's try for 14 pulls and see if I get Raquel on this round. And it is, this is Sephir. Again, Sephir is still needing a nice blue fake core there. Okay, two pulls. Um, and it's not boding too well for me, guys. Um, mm. So I did go ahead and take all your advice and up, uh, pulled the second version of FC Iden and saw that the extra boost was quite well uh, done. Oh, there's Yao there. Um, I, I only ended up getting about just above 23% um, increase on the HP, but I think that boost really does help all my units here, especially during the tag team weeks. So... Let's go and see it here. Boosh! And it is... I think this is just gonna be a regular 4-star. A legendary hero. Yeah. I kind of have like... You know... Wow, another Sybil. Sybil actually looks really nice dyed when you actually see her preview. Her... Like, she gets like this whole red scarlet thing. And Sybil is actually one of the units that I think will look much better with the longer hair. So hopefully they come up with a nice uh, fake core for her too. Um, come on. Nope. That's Pan. So... Let's see. Well... Uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words. So I, I still am looking for another pull of Janai. I happened to get quite lucky and I pulled a copy of um, uh, Doika, um, Extra, um, on when I was trying to pity for FC Aiden. But the problem became then with FC Aiden, you know, now Doika can't even catch up with the attacks foods for the uh, for Bathory and Rara at all. So I kind of gave up on that. Um, but I, you know, it's okay. I'm sure that Doika will eventually get there. Um, I'm actually trying to figure out as I am pulling here and hoping that this is going to be a red cape or a general, maybe a Janai because I still need another copy of her and it is uh, just um just some vanity. But but either way, um, what what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh my goodness. This is this is kind of what happens when you're just randomly pulling, I guess. <laughs> yes, come on, it is. Barnabas! 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 Uh, I know that Barnabas already has an FC and I'm sorry, this whole video is gonna be like on like fashion like and appearance related apparently because I'm kind of trying to, I'm like in this designy kind of mode right now but Barnabas, if you read his story, he's like, you know, that beautiful child that was like, um, taken by Queen Carey uh, which is, uh, what's his name? Uh, Goodness gracious, what what was his name? Uh, King somebody's, you know, wife, you know, Carrie for Lenombre. And um, he was actually um, very beautiful as a child and that's why she took him as to be like his guardian. But so I think they eventually need to create like a fake core version of the what out his mask. I would like to see how just beautiful this man is. Because if a game really points out that a man is beautiful, I'm sure the man is beautiful. So... Hopefully, they will eventually release another version. Oh, I'm getting a lot of sharp haze this time. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, another thing that I'm kind of looking forward to, and I know this is just like totally random talk. I apologize for that. Another thing that I'm kind of looking for is, well, Reed Marie, yes. Of FC Reed Marie would be nice too, but I, I'm really, really wondering when Schmidt is gonna come out. Um, I, I want to go ahead and try him out real quick with um, Awakened Dion. Obviously, it will be nice to get Soa too in order to see how they kind of collaborate together um, on this whole thing. But uh, so I'm kind of debating whether to get that anniversary pack or whatever it's called so that, you know, I could get her at the end. Um, and see, you know, if she's really worth it. I think her skills looks pretty interesting. It's just a matter of how does it actually work with the rest of the heroes. Ivan. I know this is gonna be a general. Come on. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. You know, there's actually a way that you could kind of... Uh, okay. Zia Khan, this... Again, Zia Khan was my first fake core ever. When I didn't even know what a fake core was back then, when I first started playing, I thought he looked pretty interestingly, uniquely ugly, so I didn't use him. But I know that he's like really the king of the like critical damage, so hopefully, I may be able to kind of try him out later on. I believe he's also part of the number, right? So I, I, he would be a nice matchup with my Raquel and my Xeon and stuff like that, too. I know that there is a way that you could kind of tell what kind of cape is coming. Well, at least, whoa, yeah, like a like a, like that shine. Oh, whoa, what? Oh. I didn't know she could drop from this banner. Oh wow. Oh, she looks so pretty. I mean. If you were to stand like that all day long, I'm sure her back would start hurting eventually, but... Wow, I did not know! Okay, so what I was about to say totally doesn't make sense, because I was gonna say, like, if you listen really closely, you could kind of get a feel for when you're gonna get, like, a shiny cape or a faded cape, but... That... that totally threw me off. I don't know that was coming. But... Okay, so Soa. I have Soa now. That's beautiful. Um, again, I still can't believe she's 14, but she does look really pretty. So I'm gonna try dying her after this and see what turns out with her. Because, you know, that blue doesn't, it's not becoming of her. She needs to be red like the rest of my team here. And hopefully, this is Raquel. Nope, it is a Freezia. I think it would be really nice. I think it's Freezia. And what are the other heroes again? You know, that they kind of look all the same. I think they're like cousins or something like that. It would be really nice to kind of have them all lined up like in an army, like a red. That I think that would be a really nice look to have on there. All right, so we're on the pole 10, guys. I guess we're about to go on our 11th pole. Getting a little bit worried. I mean, um, so it was a nice pole, but in general, you know, not nothing too interesting. Nothing too interesting, and I am under 10k zest now. Ugh, goodness gracious. Like, um... I don't, don't, don't get me wrong, the game has really nice ways that you could get zest without spending money. Um, it's just a matter of, you know... Putting a hold to these, um... <laughs> these, oh gosh, come on! These trigger fingers that kind of erupt this sense of, you know... Um, I need to pull this, I need to pull this. You know, that's what gacha games are. But, you know, I think I've learned a lot of self-control since I really started playing, like, back in junior high. That's when I start, started to kind of really get into games. Um, but, you know, a still the temptation is, is very hard. Yes, Hawkeye was another one of those. Come on, give me, give me Raquel, come on. Pulling, and it is. I think I have so many copies of her too. She's a feisty little one. And another one. Go! Got her. Okay, two pulls left. Two pulls left. I'm sorry, like, I know I've been just like blabbing this whole time, but now that it's getting really close, I'm getting a little bit nervous and I'm kind of like focused. I feel like maybe if I stare at my phone long enough, it'll give me something good. No, it didn't. <laughs> yorm, another Yorm. Um, but just kind of predicting, maybe they will have a Yorm grown-up version, a Pam grown-up version. I mean, there's a, a 
like a lot of like younger looking heroes in this game too so hopefully they bring up like a grown-up version speaking of that maybe they'll make up a grown-up version of soa too eventually which would be kind of weird because she looks a little bit old right now but you know who knows i think she once she lets her hair down too she might look a little bit younger i think it's that whole hairstyle and that posture that she's kind of holding with that balloony kind of dress that kind of makes her look a little bit more mature not to mention her face looks you know oh <laughs> Ah, yay! Okay, that's great! I mean, Raquel with the, all the roses, it's really nice. And I'm still not a huge fan of his hair, but... Goodness, I, I like... I, I'm, again, I'm kind of cut off guard here, so... Um... Not to mention, that was my 15th pull. Oh my gosh, see guys, this is what happens when you kind of pull and you're not really thinking about it. You go over your limit. I said I was going to stop at 14, but I went up to 15. Oh my gosh, but it's okay. You know, um, it's it's always a great pleasure kind of talking to you guys. And, you know, um, I, I got him anyway. I, I, I got him on the 15th pull, not the 14th, but one more pull over than what I had initially budgeted, which is cool. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we could die him now. Again, you know, if you guys saw my progression video, dying is pretty much one of the first things that I do. Um, I think Raquel's current color, what I was made core, I also dyed him a little bit on the reddish theme, but I think it should be um, good. Um, let's see what it actually does. Oh, the texture of his hair doesn't show as well as I have hoped. So... So white and red is kind of what I had for um, Iris, who was also initially blonde. So I was trying to see if this would look good on him too. But I think maybe for him, maybe the blonde is the best for him, you know? Okay, good. The main body color turns that red. The second one is his sash. And um, I think the white sash looks nice too. Um, and then... Then it's the lapel that it's being colored on the third one. Oh, that's so sad that they don't let us color his pants. All right, but let's try it. We're gonna go for it and hopefully get the red. Let's do it. Ooh. Okay, that's good. Burnt amber. Like, as long as it's a shade of red, there's not like a particular red. I'm not that picky. I'm not that rich to want that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and reset his lapel to match the whole red section thing. I think the mule fawn for the belt is not bad. It kind of blends in with the red. Okay, so there's my new Raquel on my 15 pull. Thank you so much for joining me in. Now that I have my second blue fake core, my Lalumbre heroes are gonna be buffed up and ready to go. And uh, he is... Uh, yeah, I I'll get used to his long hair. I'll get used to his long hair. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Which fake core banner did you go for? If you did this time, let me know below. And if you like random gaming content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I post every Wednesday and weekends. Thank Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. Stay safe and take care.